okay so this is the next video in our continuation of our aws series and in this video we will explore uh, two options uh, which is under the iam service so if you click on the iam so which is the identity and access management identity which is a global service you could see this is a global service and here we could see a lot of options. So out of this, uh, so many options, we will explore two options. One is the credential report. So what this option is and uh, like what is the use of this option and when we actually have to use it. So if you click on the credential report, it is under the IM only. You could see the credential report even using the name only. Like if we just see the name, credential report. So credential report means like, uh, so there should be some report, a kind of an Excel report in which we have the list of the users and uh, their credential report, like when um, when they, when they uh, last created the password, uh, is there any MFA enabled or not? So, so many things related to the credentials only. So it is a kind of a report. So even it is mentioned here, the credentials report list all your IM users in this account. So this option work on the account level. So basically this report will download all the users, right? So the, the credentials reports list all your, your, your IM users in this account and the status of their various credentials. So what are their status? Like whether the password has been expired or it needs to be renewed. So everything it's it like it's there. So let's download it, download credential report. So if you open it, so let me open it. So my credential report has been downloaded. So right now I have only two users. One is the root user and one is like uh, uh, the user on which I am currently working. So you could see it has listed all the users of this account. So right now two, so it has listed two. So in, in your company, there could be thousand. So it will list all the thousand users. So that their uh, ARN, so this is the ARN because this, this is the account level report. So this is on the same account, which has number 97466. So when the user has been created, like is the password, is, uh, like password is enabled or not? Password last used, password last changed, password next rotation, MFA active. So on my root advice, MFA is, is not active, which is like, okay. And uh, on the other device, I have enabled the MFA. So access key, whether the access key has been like created or not. So whether the access key has been rotated or not. So everything is in this like uh, um, when we have to rotate the access key. So basically all the information in this option or in this report is related to the credential of the users, but not actual credential because otherwise if I can see like any user credential, right? So basically not the password, but the rest all of the information. So let's close this report. So this is one of the option. And now look the another option. The another option, if you click on the users, we know under the users, we can list all the users which, which we created or which exist in this account, right? So if you click on the users, and if I scroll down, I could see only one user exists, right? So and so if I click on this user. So you could see a lot of options like permission, group, tax, security, credential, access advisor. So we are going to explore this option, access advisor. So if you just read the keyword access advisor, so it will advise you something, but advice related to the access, right? So even by reading the keyword, even if we don't know anything by reading the keyword, we can, okay, do a random guess. It will advise something related to the access of the particular user. Like, which means this user has access to which, which services, right? So if you click on the access advisor, you can, uh, you can read here, access advisor shows the services that the, that this user, this user means this user can access. And when these, uh, and when those services were uh, last access, so which services this user can access and when this user has lost access this uh, uh, those services based upon that uh, based upon that we can like uh, take uh, actions like if we have to give more access if we have to revoke some access 
so based upon that so so if you see here so basically this user has the permission of im so so i am like administrator so it has all the this user can access all the services that's why we could see a lot of services here it it like this user can access everything like amazon ec2 it can access using this policy so if if this user has been attached with like multiple policies then we can see that as well and uh, amazon ec2 i have access today so i am i access today cloudwatch i access 7 days ago uh, aws health api api notification i access 7 days ago if i click uh, uh, line number 7 so redshift uh, 172 days ago it means like i don't think it even accessed all right cloud hsm 177 days ago cloud guru review 190 days ago all right so even uh, amazon uh, workspace web so this is not even accessed in the tracking right so if you 34 so all these things are not accessed so it means like this user don't need this because if it is being not being accessed using the like from the past one year so this means like this user don't need this kind of access so we can remove the access right so basically from this access advisor so this this option is very useful which will tell you the user which we are currently exploring has access of which services and the, this user has access the particular services on what date or what time no time basically like uh, uh, in the past days and how many days and based upon that data we can remove the unused permission because like uh, it, we have to like maintain like everything like if some person uh, joined our team but he has now moved to the some another team right but still he has the access of our like our services or our application and we can just check that particular user okay that user is no more accessing our services and because he has been moved to some another team so we can remove the access from here right so these two options are like very useful one is the credential report which is the account level and under the users and under the users so this is the user level of uh, option basically under the users if you click on the any user there is an access advisor option so these these are the two options which is very useful so that's it uh, that is the end of the video uh, thank you